Hi there and welcome to Storytime with Uncle Bill. We're seeing right now one of my best friends in the whole world. That is Eleanor, folks. You heard me talk about her in a few of my stories. 74 years old. She's been battling fibromyalgia, fibromyalgia, however you say, for 25, 30 years. Out there push mowing her yard. And I promise you, she ain't never had to push mower your. yard. I would do it for a matter of fact, I just got done pushing mower in her backyard with that mower. She doesn't know I'm filming. I'm trying to look conspicuous, inconspicuous. And I see a lot of people complaining about doing a little bit of hard work or some labor. She called me up. She asked me if I can come over and get her lawnmower started. Um, you know, Clean out her uh, car, clean out her carburetor. Make sure blades was good. Um, I had already emptied the gas out last year. I was the last person to mow her grass last year with that lawnmower. So uh, came over and blew the air filter out, sharpened the blade right quick, and um, put some fresh gasoline in. She fired right up. Of course, she said the same thing she says every year, every single time. Let me mow the front yard. That, that fiber of my age or fiber mileage, if you look it up, however you say it, um, it's pretty bad. It's, it's nerves. Her legs are always hurt. Her ankles, her knees. Then it affects her lower back, her upper back. She tell me her neck was hurting. Still out there, that's... Uh, that's kind of how it like, lets her know she's alive to be able to mow her front yard. I've, did, uh, this is Eleanor. I've been mowing that grass right there since, for 30, 35 years. That same stretch of grass. That big magnolia tree right there. I remember when it was just a, look how big that thing is too. I remember when it was just a little guy. It was small. If you look, there's some bushes that she had out front right there. Remember those? The little, they finally just now started dying. There was, a matter of fact, none of the stuff around her even looked the same. There's so many more trees. That's my homie, though. Go over there to talk, to chill, smoke a little. Sometimes hang out all day. Go do some landscaping. I planted a lot of the bushes. A lot of the uh, uh, rose bushes, magnolias. Do a lot of the gardening for her. I painted most of her house a couple times. Um, I do the gutters. Uh, I do all the pressure washing. I'm sitting here looking at everything and I can just rattle it off. But she kind of always uh, inspirational to me. Um, she, I mean, just straight out there getting it. It's pretty hot today too. It's like, um, it's the, it's the first week of March, but it's almost like 80 degrees and she knows she's going to be hurting because the heat, heat bothers her real bad in North Carolina. We, you know, we're out here in North Carolina. It's bad for humidity. Now it ain't so much bad today, but she is also 74 years old. So she's going to pay for this. Probably take two or three days to recuperate. Thank God she always mows her grass when it's short. Um, and she got the lawnmower on a nice setting. Seen some young kids complaining, man. And I was like, I've been, I've like, I literally been mowing her grass since I was 10 years old. I just walked over and was like, hey, can I mow your grass? She's like, how much you charge? And I was like, $10. He's probably going this side and take a muscle relaxer and all kind of stuff. She wouldn't let me do it. I promise you I'd have done it.
Hope everybody's having a good day and staying safe. If you can, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe if you haven't.